نحمد و نصلی علی رسول الكریم اما بعد اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم My respected viewers, uh, one of uh, the disease of our heart is very dangerous. Uh, I'm talking about spiritual heart and spiritual disease. This disease is, if you may say that, it is the base of all other diseases of heart. Uh, I think it, it would be right. Because of that disease, a person involves in backbiting, person involves to do jealousy, person involves and other bad deeds. What is this disease? This is a disease of arrogance. If a person feels he is superior to others, and this is the first sin shaitan did. If we look at the verses of Quran, Quran says, فَسَجَدُوا إِلَّا إِبْلِيسِ أَبَا وَاسْتَكْبَرَ وَكَانَ مِنَ الْكَافِرِينَ so when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala presented Adam alayhi salam in front of angels and commanded them to bow before Adam alayhi salam, so everybody did prostrate to Adam alayhi salam except Iblis. Why? Aba was takbara wakana min al kafirin. He showed arrogance and he was among those who are the kafirun who are the non-believers. So look at this verse. This phenomena of arrogance takes a person towards kufr. And there is a very strong hadith. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, La yadukulul jannata man kana fi qalbihi mithqala dharratin min kibr. A person will not enter in paradise whose heart has a tiny like a mustard seed of kibber in it. So it is so much dangerous. Today inshallah I will talk about the reasons of arrogance, the kabbar, and the levels of the kabbar, and also expression of the kabbo, how we express arrogance and we can understand that in which level if anybody involves in any sort of the kabbo, so where he stands. And then we will also talk about the remedies. Hazrat Bayezid al-Bastami rahmatullah alayh, he defines takabbar or arrogance if a person feels superior to others it is takabbar it is arrogance rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam says the one of the hadith prophet sallallahu wasallam said if a person neglect the commands of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and feel superior himself to others. It is the kabbo. It is so much dangerous. If a person is doing ibadah, worship, many years of good deeds would be wasted in a single fraction of a moment when the person shows the kabbar arrogance. Why? Because in a hadith Allah says kibar is my garment. If anybody holds Allah's garment you think about how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala deals with that person. It is like that for example if there is a throne and crown there and 
one of slave sit on king's throne and takes his crown how king would deal that slave this is the same thing as when an abd tries to take that garment that belongs to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will deal that person very severely that is why allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will not enter the person in paradise in jannah who has a tiny tiny like a mustard seed size of the kabar in heart that is why we are we should be very watchful about this spiritual disease and we should also know about the levels of this disease for example if we if we are become victim of this disease or not naturally we are avoiding to take any disease we are avoiding bacteria and viruses we know that so how can we for example if any epidemics there so we take measures to save yourself so the same is that we should take measures and if we have these germs inside how we kill them not to become victim of this disease and we increase the level of this disease inside so that is why we we it is very important to have the clear understanding of this the kabbar arrogance and then we should go for the self reflection where we stand believe me my respected brothers and sisters if we have this arrogance in our heart whatsoever we are doing it we are doing charities we are doing worship to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala whatsoever we are doing it to please allah subhanahu wa ta'ala we will not get the pleasure of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so we should be very watchful about the kabr that is why when shaitan says i do not prostrate what happened allah says to go out allah subhanahu wa ta'ala took all his barakah and blessings upon upon shaitan and call him mal'oon on that day allah asked shaitan qala ma mana'aka alla tasjuda id amartuk o iblis what causes you to stop to follow my command this is my command allah's command and what shaitan says qal ana khairum min khalaqtani min narim wa khalaqtahu min tin oh my lord i'm better than adam alayhi salam because you created me from fire and created him from clay so that is the kabr and look at that the kabr not only takes a person to kufr makes a person blind for example for a moment you think about it if any person is standing in the court of king and you know the grandeur of and power of that king and king gives you any command do if you don't like that command but you have to follow that command why because you know that if i reject the command of my king 
So what would be the result of that refusal? And look at Shaitan. He is at that level. You know, the first level of Iban is Ilmul Yaqeen. I'm uh, reading in books, and parents tell them about anything. That is Ilmul Yaqeen, Ainul Yaqeen. For example, if a person knows that there is a king who has a large kingdom, big palace, he heard about it. But one day, if he could see from outside that Ainul Yaqeen, then the grandeur of that king goes more on his heart. He becomes more submissive to that. And he has a more fear. And Hakul Yaqeen, if by chance he enters in the palace of that king. So what is the level of his Iman? And how much he has a fear? Shaitan, think about it. Shaitan was in the court of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Shaitan knew the grandeur of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, power of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, knows that this is the king of all kings. Might goes to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, but this disease made him, made him blind. And he bluntly refused to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That is why this disease is so much heinous, so much bad. What, are, what would be the level of this disease? My, if we look at the levels of this disease, if anybody would like to gauge himself where I'm standing, if first of all, I'm having a kiver, and if I'm having this sort of feeling of kiver, so where I stand? First level of kiver is, person thinks he is himself God. He claims himself God. He feels so much superior to himself. He not only feels these fellow people are inferior, he feels everybody is inferior, even he is above to God. He is himself a God. Like Namrud, he declared himself, I am a God. He made his statues and people prostrated him. People did sujood to that. And if anybody presented himself in his court, before, before any talk, he had to submit himself. He had to do prostration himself, do sajida in front of Namrud. And what happened when a muhid stood in front of Namrud, Mohid, who said that only one God, Hazrat Ibrahim alayhi salam. When, when, when Hazrat Ibrahim alayhi salam was in the court of Namrud, they had dialogue between Namrud and Ibrahim alayhi salam. Quran said, Alam tara ila alladhi haajja Ibrahim fi rabbihi anatahu Allahu al-mulk. That king, those who got kingdom, started arguing with Ibrahim alayhi salam. Namrud started arguing with Ibrahim alayhi salam. إِذْ قَالَ إِبْرَاهِيمُ رَبِّيَ الَّذِي يُحْيِي وَيُمِيتُ 
Ibrahim alayhi salam said that you declared you are a god? What is the power of a god? God could give life and death. God has an authority over life and death. He is the provider of life and he is the provider of death. He said, I could do this one. But Namrud did it. Namrud called a prisoner and was declared to give to hang that prisoner and he ordered to free that prisoner. And then he called an innocent person and commanded to kill that innocent person. Then he said to Ibrahim alayhi salam, I can do this one. Look at that. Look at that a innocent person got. I change the fate of the person. Give a life and give death as well. Qala Ibrahim fa inna Allah yati bi shams min al-mashriq fa'ti biha min al-maghrib fa buhita alladhi kafar wallahu la yahti al-qawm al-zalimin Then Ibrahim alayhi salam said O oh, Namrud my lord my lord has an authority to give rise of sun from east side and if you have this power so you bring this sun from west side that argument made Namrud silent speechless that was the first level of arrogance when a person claiming that I'm I'm better than God I'm God And what happened then? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made horrible example of Namrud. What is the entity of a mosquito? What is the entity? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala may cause death to Namrud any other way. Why? Why with mosquito? To show the power of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. To show him what is your entity, O Namrud. You are calling yourself Lord and you cannot even fight with the mosquito. That was a message Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave when a mosquito entered the nostril of Namrud. When he crawled, he became restless and asked people to hit on his head. How much humiliation Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave it to him. And my respected brothers, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala not humiliated those people, those who showed arrogance here. Allah will also give humiliation in hereafter as well. There is a hadith in which Rasulullah said, those people, those who are mutakabbirin, arrogant people, they will take to hell like ants. They become like ants. And then push them to show their, what is your entity? Upon what you are claiming you are so much superior? And you've not only you feel superior, you feel superior than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That is why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made a mosquito enter the nostril of Namrud and when he crawled, people hit on his head. Eventually, that caused death. He died in this miserable situation, miserable way. Allah made a horrible example. This is the first level of kibr. And believe me, 
not only the bluntly a person says that, oh Allah, I'm a God. If a person bluntly say, oh Allah, I don't care about your command. This is like that you are challenging the authority of Allah and you feel that you are a God. That, that happened by shaitan. Shaitan did like that. He didn't say that, oh Allah, you are not my Lord. But he challenged the authority of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He challenged the command of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He challenged the wisdom of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And he said that your decision is not right. This is another way of showing kibr with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's entity. In the first level, a person is doing kufr. Bluntly say that I don't believe Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He is a kafir. He is a non-believer. Definitely he will go to hell because he is not accepting the authority of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But a person says, La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah, then he challenges the authority of Allah. He says, what if the namaz is, I don't believe in namaz. I don't believe in salah. I don't believe in charity, zakat. If he may, if any person makes a mockery of the pillars of Islam, scholars of the opinion, they say, he is also be a, doing kufr. Because he bluntly, yes, some, it could be happen a person is not performing the commands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because of his lazy attitude for some other reason. But he feels repentance. He feels shame. Yes, this is a command of my Lord, but because of my laziness, I'm not doing it. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, forgive me. This is another scenario. But a person is not only doing it, upon that, he is making argument, what if in a salah? What salah will give us? And he starts making jokes upon hell and heaven. What sort of a iman he has it? He also falls in this level of the kabr. He directly refuse, refuses the authority of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So we should be very watchful, my respected viewers. Yes, uh, to us is a human. Yes, we are human being. We are not 100% perfect. Sometimes we do some bad deeds, but upon bad deeds or upon the violation of the commands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we should feel ashamed. We, we seek forgiveness to our Lord. We should not say, we should not make mockery of the pillars of Islam. It is very dangerous. It is very dangerous. And we should be very careful of it. And after that, in a second level of the Kabbar is, a person thinks that he is better than prophets. He accepted the command of Allah, he accepts the command of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, but he thinks that, no, uh, I'm more worthy to get the revelation from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala than this prophet of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is another level of takabur. So, inshallah, in a, another program we will, in the, another program we will talk about in the second and third level of the Kabr. And then we will also talk about the reasons and remedies of the Kabr as well. Hopefully we, you will remain with us. And uh, I finished my program today. Uh, inshallah, see you in the next program. Jazakallah khair. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa